Hey guys and welcome back. In this video we're going to be talking again about making it so Google doesn't track your searches or your activity. This is going to be very similar to our previous video where we talked about this, but since Google changed up the format of their web pages, we thought we would just make another quick video that's more updated. So what we're going to do first is on google.com we're going to type in delete Google history and once we do that we're gonna go down to where it says delete searches and browsing activity and we're gonna click that now this page is set up differently than in our previous video but to accomplish the same goals we're just gonna go down to the delete everything in my activity and then we're gonna click the my activity link right here now once we're on this page we're gonna go over to the little three dot menu again and we're going to go down to delete activity by and now here you're going to have the option to delete history today yesterday and then all these other specific filter options and if you just want to delete all of Google's tracking of your activity and searches you're going to click all time and then click delete and then click delete again and then it says down here delete activity from all time alright so once we've done that to make it so Google doesn't track your history in the future you're gonna click the little three dot menu again and you're gonna go down to activity controls and then again right here it's pretty discreet but it's this little slide thing so if this is slid over to the right like this that means Google is tracking your web activity and then if you have it slid to the left then that means that they're not going to be tracking your web and app activity. It's pretty much just up to the user whether you want this service or not from Google. Some people like to browse more discreetly than others. It's just kind of a personal preference thing. And let's go back to this main page here. You have other delete options. So if you want to delete items individually, say, you can do that in this area. Uh, so if you don't want to delete like an entire day or an entire week or an entire month of activity and you just want to delete certain things then you're going to want to go to, to the delete items individually area which might be helpful to certain people that want to keep the rest of their history and just delete certain individual items so thanks for watching our video and subscribe for more content thanks